quick video showing how to issue a refund in Odoo. So we'll uh, decide upon a customer to sell to. Let's sell something to Jessica. Go to uh, sale orders. Let's create this new sale. And what we'll do is we'll make a mistake on the sale um, which needs a refund. So let's sell her a iMac. And we'll confirm the sale. Create the invoice. And it's the payment where we will make the mistake on purpose. So we'll register the payment. And what we'll do is we'll take cash. And actually the customer wanted to pay by card at this point. So what we'll do is we'll now issue a refund for this invoice. Now we can't simply edit this invoice because it's been saved. It's gone through the accountancy system and the journal items have been created. So to refund, we have to click the refund invoice button. Uh, issue, give it a reason why. So wrong payment type. Payment type. Okay. And what that does is it creates a <coughs> customer refund draft, which we can go into and uh, validate the refund and pay that back to the customer. So we use the same payment method as we did before, which is the cash. Notice the negative amount because we're paying the customer back for the money that we take, we took accidentally. Register that payment and you'll notice here on the right it registers as paid. So we've got the, the payments and debits going through and the note as to why, why we're issuing that refund for reconciliation later. Okay, so what we want to do now is go back to that invoice and we can't use this invoice again because that's been that's been logged and journaled in the system but what we can do is duplicate it and then reissue that invoice to the customer and take payment using the payment method that they want to use so we'll register the payment this time we'll choose bank ask the customer to put their card in the machine etc register the payment and jobs are good in so just to confirm we can see we've got the sales orders down here so Jessica Dunpot, sales order. And if we were to check this out, we can go to accounting, customer refunds. And here we can see that Jessica was issued a refund for her iMac right here. And on reporting, I have set up a dashboard item which shows an analysis of refunds so we can see how much of the invoices we're actually taking in and how many of those we're refunding. So as we can see here we've got a, a dire look at uh, how many we're refunding versus taking. Thank you very much.